Well, I watched the Human Centipede second sequence, and uh, I need a little bit of time to sort of get my thoughts together on it, so I thought it might be fun, since Friday the 13th is approaching, to sort of do a slasher movie and shed some light on one of those. So what do we have? No. 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 God, no. Perfect. The Town That Dreaded Sundown is a 1976 movie directed by Charles B. Pierce. The plot revolves around a hooded serial killer slowly picking off members of a quiet Arkansas town. It's loosely based off a string of actual murders on the Texas-Arkansas border in 1946. But, lucky for them, there's a Texas Ranger that's right on their trail. But, that doesn't sound too promising since right on the poster it says, In 1946, this man killed five people. Today he still lurks the streets. Well, let's hope the Texas Ranger wounded him. What I really dig about this movie is the small town atmosphere that it builds. Right away there's shots of busy street corners, a car dealership, and a happy wedding. Seeing this peaceful, quiet town thrown into such chaos and fear is just wonderful. Plus, it's really the only movie I know of that's ever tackled the question, can you really kill someone with a trumpet? That answer, of course, is yes. Overall, I feel this movie is a classic. I know that they remade it just last year in sort of a meta sequel slash remake slash reimagining slash reboot or re-whatever that they call it these days. Uh, I haven't seen it, but I, well, I bet it's worth checking out. Um, the Human Centipede second sequence, like I said, review is coming soon. I just kind of got to work out the kinks in it and think about what I can show or shouldn't show or should I just show everything. Um, but uh, yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you later. He wore a white hood and was known only as the Phantom Killer.